Now tonight at 5 o'clock, we are following a lot of breaking news. We're going to start with the spread of the coronavirus. Yeah, this is really continuing to threaten our economy, and today it's putting the future of the upcoming Olympics at risk. Fears of this coronavirus continue to impact Wall Street. Look at this. The Dow with another bad day, losing 878 points to close at 27,082. And today, the head of the CDC says we should now get ready for a coronavirus crisis in the United States. There's fear right now of a global pandemic as new cases climb outside of China. In fact, nearly 1,000 people are sick in South Korea. And the cases in Italy nearly doubled today, with northern Italy now sealing off about a dozen towns. More than 80,000 people have been infected with coronavirus around the world. Based on what we know right now, we believe the immediate risk here in the United States remains low. But we must use this time to continue to prepare for the event of community transmission in the United States. President Trump was asked about the coronavirus during his trip to India today. He said a vaccine is coming soon. But the Secretary of Health and Human Services says we're months away from a vaccine. Several companies are now trying to come up with one. That would include this biotech company in Massachusetts. It sent the first batch of a vaccine to federal health investigators for testing by the end of April. And we also learned today the coronavirus could threaten the upcoming Tokyo Olympics, which is now five months away. Today, the longest serving member of the International Olympic Committee said they'd probably have a three month window to decide whether to hold the games. So this means they'd have to make a decision by late May. The Olympics start July 24th in Japan.